Hi everyone, it's Miss Becky from Miss Becky's Musical Stories, and I have a flannel board story to tell you today. This is my flannel board, and the pieces that stick on the flannel board are felt, and that's how they stick on. So, I'm going to tell you a very famous fairy tale, and you probably know what it is. It's the story of the three bears. When we listen to this story, I want you to be listening for the characters who are the people or animals in the story. So it's who is in the story. And the setting is where they are. Where does the story take place? And in this story, in all fairy tales, there is no author because it's just been a story that's been told over and over again, and no one knows where it started. So we're gonna get started listening for those things that I told you. Okay, once upon a time, there were three bears and they lived in a house in the woods. So think about where they are. And there was a great big papa bear and a middle-sized mama bear and a little wee baby bear. And one morning, mama bear cooked some porridge, which is like hot cereal. So when they tasted the porridge, it was too hot. Everybody taste your porridge. Oh, it was too hot. So they decided to take a walk in the woods to let the porridge cool off. So now they're going out of the house. So for them, the setting is changing. So there they go, out of the house. Okay, and when they're gone, someone knocks on the door. Nobody answered. And this little girl was named Goldilocks. And she turned the handle, everybody turned the handle, and walked right into the house without even any permission. Well, she saw the kitchen first and the porridge sitting there. And she decided she was hungry and she wanted to taste them. So she started with a Papa Bear's great big bowl of porridge and everybody try it, Whew. but it was too hot. And then she went over and tried the mama bear's porridge, but it was too cold. Then she tried the baby bear's porridge. It was neither too hot nor too cold, but just right. And she ate it all up, eat your porridge. Oh, and she was starting to get a little tired, so she went into the bear's living room or their parlor, and she saw three chairs. There was a great big papa chair, there was a medium-sized mama chair, and a little baby chair. And she sat in the great big papa's chair and said, this is too hard. So then she went to the mama bear's very medium sized fluffy chair and said, sunk down and said, this is too soft. And then she sat in the baby bear's chair and said, this is just right. And she rocked and she rocked and she rocked and it broke. So by this time she was really tired. So she went upstairs, and when she went upstairs, she found some beds. And she saw the Papa Bear's great big bed and lied in it. But it was too hard. Then she went to the Mama Bear's bed, and it was too soft. And then she went to the Baby Bear's bed, it was neither too hard nor too soft, but just right. And she fell fast asleep. Well, while she was sleeping, the 
three bears came back from their walk to see if their porridge was ready. So the papa bear, with his great big voice, looks at his porridge and says in his great big voice, somebody has been eating my porridge. Can everybody say that in the big voice? Somebody's been eating my porridge. And then the mama bear looked at her porridge and she said in her medium sized voice, somebody has been eating my porridge. And then the baby bear tried his porridge and he said in his wee little voice, somebody's been eating my porridge and it's all gone. Wah! Okay, so now they went to the living room or the parlor and the papa bear looked at his great big chair and he said in his great big voice, everybody help me, somebody has been sitting in my chair. And then the mama bear looked at her chair and she noticed the pillow was moved. And she said in her medium sized voice, somebody's been sitting in my chair. And then the baby bear went and looked at his chair and in his wee little voice said, Somebody's been sitting in my chair and it's broken. Wah! Everybody cried. Wah! All right, so then they decided to go upstairs. And the papa bear looked at his great big bed and said, Somebody has been lying in my bed. And then the mama bear went up and looked at her bed and saw that the, the sheets and the Comforter was ruffled, and she said in her medium-sized voice, Somebody has been sleeping in my bed. And then the wee little bear looked at his bed, and in his wee little voice said, Somebody has been sleeping in my bed, and she's still there. Ah! And with that, Goldilocks woke up, and she ran, 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 ran out of the house, all the way home, and no one ever saw her again. She was probably with her family, but she should not have been walking into a house when no one was there. So, think about the characters now and the setting. So, I actually have the pieces that will help us. So, we have the mama bear is the character. And we have Goldilocks, that's two characters. And the chair, it's not a character. It's not a person or an animal. And here we have the Papa Bear. He is a character, so that's one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we have one more, and that is the Baby Bear. So we have one, two, three, four characters in our story. And the setting, remember, is where the story takes place. So the three bears house is where most of the story takes place. And that's the setting at the three bears house. They did go to the forest, so they had a different setting at that point. But most of the story happened at the Three Bears house. So I hope you enjoyed the fairy tale of the Three Bears and I'll see you next time.